right, the next two methods we're going to use for finding an optimized solution do not guarantee that we will find an optimal solution. Again, the only guarantee is through that brute force method. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some that will approximate the best solution. And this is, this is the way that we do this whenever we've got, again, lots and lots and lots of options to consider by the brute, for, brute force method, and it's just not feasible to consider them all. Now, as we go through these, I'm going to be reading to you from the method on the previous page of your notes on page 12, okay? So I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just reading word for word what's there and then I'm going to do it on this example. So for this first one, we're gonna use the nearest neighbor method to find an optimal solution for our Seattle-based salesperson. So we wanna start in Seattle, okay? We're gonna start at home. And so that's our starting spot. So reading, reading the algorithm for the nearest neighbor method, it says one, draw a complete weighted graph for the problem. Check, we've done that, okay? Select a starting point. Check, we've already done that. Move to an unvisited vertex by traveling along the edge with the least weight. So starting in Seattle and looking at the cost to go to LA, to Chicago, to Atlanta, and to Dallas, we look for the one that is the least expensive, okay? So we're starting in Seattle, and then we're gonna end up going to LA next, okay, for a total cost of $70. And so I'm gonna trace that so we know now that we're hanging out in LA, okay? Um, then it says, at the second vertex, travel to another unvisited vertex using the edge with the least weight. So we're not gonna go back to Seattle. It's not time to go home yet. We have to go do sales presentations in these other cities. So from LA, we could go to Dallas at $150, at Atlanta at 170, or to Chicago at 100. Chicago's the cheapest, and so that's the one we're gonna add next at 100 bucks. We're gonna fly from LA to Chicago, okay? And then it says, continue until the circuit is complete ensuring that you never visit any vertex, city in this case, more than once, with the exception of the starting vertex. So we just repeat this process. So from Chicago, we don't wanna to go to LA, we've already been there. We're not ready to go home yet to Seattle because we haven't been to Atlanta and we haven't been to Dallas. So what's cheaper from Chicago, going to Atlanta or going to Dallas? Well, clearly going to Atlanta is the cheaper flight that's $75. And so we add Atlanta to our list at $75. And then from Atlanta, we don't have an option, okay? We have to go to Dallas next because we have to go to every city and it's not time to go back home to Seattle. So next we're gonna go to Dallas, even if that wasn't the cheapest option, that is the route we would take, okay? And then now we're in Dallas and so it's time to go back home to Seattle at a cost of $120, okay? So notice we have made a circuit. We started in Seattle. We went to every city on our list. And then the last thing in the nearest neighbor method says, the sum of the weights is an approximation of the optimal solution. So if we add all of those values or the costs together, we will find that it will cost about $450. So that's about the cheapest that we can do according to the nearest neighbor method. Again, may not be the absolute cheapest, it's just the cheapest we can do based on not having to write them all out and using that brute force method, okay? All right, switching this to the sorted edges method, we're gonna use the same graph, but we're gonna switch to the other. And the sorted edges method is also known as the cheapest link method. You will see both of those terms and so kind of keep that in mind especially as you're working on the online homework some people refer to it as the cheapest link so again um, reading you the instructions that are there it says number one select the edge with the cheapest unused edge in the graph in other words anything that you haven't used yet pick the least expensive it does not matter whether we're starting in Seattle or not, okay? You just look at that and you say, this one is the least expensive. So for us, the least expensive happens to be from Seattle to LA, okay? And so that's the first edge that we add is Seattle to LA for $70, <clears throat> okay? 
Then step two in the algorithm says, repeat step one, adding the cheapest unused edge to the circuit unless A, adding an edge creates a circuit that doesn't contain all the vertices. So in other words, you're gonna end up with a circuit that you didn't go to say Atlanta, okay? You went to the other four cities and but you didn't go to Atlanta, or adding an edge would give a vertex degree three. So we don't wanna give any, any vertex a degree three, okay? So we're gonna look now for the next cheapest city. Now, it does not say it has to be connected to Seattle or LA. We just look for the next cheapest flight. That's the $75 from Chicago to Atlanta. Okay, $75. And then step three in the algorithm says repeat until a circuit containing all vertices is formed. So we repeat, so we go back to step number one, find the cheapest edge. Okay, so the next cheapest edge is our $85 flight from Atlanta to Dallas. And we have to make sure we follow our rules that we're not creating a circuit, we're not, and that we're not creating a vertex with degree three. So like when we draw this in, we don't have degree three and we will not have that. So we can have Atlanta to Dallas at a cost of $85. And now we've got that edge added in to our graph, okay? And we keep repeating this process. So we find the next cheapest edge that hasn't been used. That's the $100 between LA and Chicago. Are we breaking any rules? Are we creating a circuit that doesn't visit all vertices? No, we're not creating a circuit at all. Um, and are we going to create a vertex, the ones that are highlighted, um, that has degree three? No, we're not. And so we can add that $100 edge there from LA to Chicago for 100 bucks. Okay, we don't have a circuit yet. We gotta keep going. So of all the edges left that are remaining, the cheapest one, again, happens to be the $120 between Dallas and Seattle, home base. Um, does it break any rules? Does it create a circuit? It does, but it will visit all the vertices, so that's okay. And we're certainly not creating a vertex of degree three. So we can connect those together. So Dallas to Seattle um, for $120. And as it turns out, that gives us the same result as the nearest neighbor method did. That is not always the case, okay? So do not assume that because this example worked out that way, that it's always going to be that way. Certainly not the actual case. All right, the next video is going to walk through these same two algorithms, um, but for a different graph, okay? So what I encourage you to do is go ahead and close this video out do the nearest neighbor method, do the sorted edges method for the next two graphs you see there, and then look up the next video and see how it did, okay? Also, one other thing, in terms of work, what I have written down here through this portion, like this here, this is the work, okay? This is what you need to be doing to show that you understand what's happening, okay? Make the list of cities, um, and the nearest neighbor method in the order in which you're traveling. And then for assorted edges, list the edges in the order you are adding them. Those have to match, okay? They have to match. There's no alternative answer. Your work should match mine. All right, good luck. Give the next two a shot.